Good afternoon. On a warm, sunny spring day in Grand Rapids. Welcome and thank you all for attending. We would also like to give a special thanks to Bernard Colton, the principal of Campus Elementary, and his team for hosting us here today. Thanks to Spectrum Health, we're here today to announce a very exciting exercise a competition for elementary students. And this is exclusively for Grand Rapids Public School students. And it's called Jump Jam. Wow, that sounds exciting just in the title. Jump Jam. This is a jump rope competition to third, fourth, and fifth graders, Grand Rapids Public School students, and we have about 18 schools participating. The event will actually be held this, excuse me, um, Saturday, April 20th, downtown Grand Rapids at the DeVos Hall, the Exhibition Hall C, and it will be starting at around 9.30 a.m., and it's an all-day event and running to about 4 p.m. Now, our original goal was to engage about 200, 250 kids in a new activity, and it is very pleasing to announce today, or to share with you today, that we have about 600 kids that are gonna be participating. Isn't that great? Our students are understanding the importance of exercising and being act active. We have also about two dozen coaches and volunteers from Grand Rapids Public Schools that are helping, assisting in this event. And we have about 220 Spectrum Health employees and volunteers along with Grand Rapids Public Schools volunteers. So that's exciting as well. Give them a round of applause. Jump Jam is a free event to spectators, and it is um, kind of open to the public, but because of the overwhelming numbers of participants, volunteers, and coaches, um, we're not putting out a general statement for all of the public to attend, but if you happen to be in the area and you stop by, we won't turn you away. Come on in. You will hear much about this activity from a lot of our special guests here that are with us today, but if you want to hear or read about more uh, information on this event, look at our website at www.jumpjam.org and you can find much more information about the event itself. Now I would like to introduce Mr. Steve Heacock, Senior Vice President for Community Relations for Spectrum Health to explain the Spectrum Health's role and how this vision became a reality. Let's give him a round of applause. Well, good afternoon. Delighted to be here in this uh, beautiful rainy day to talk about Jump Jam. Um, Spectrum Health is well aware of its role as the area's largest employer and the regional health center for our community. And that role means, means certainly a lot in how we provide health care and how we treat people who are in need and how we add members to Priority Health and, and help them stay well. But more than that, it, it creates a, a really responsible corporate citizen in, in Spectrum Health. And part of that is our partnership with the Grand Rapids Public Schools. And I'm just delighted to be here with my friend, uh, Superintendent Neal, and, and the other folks uh, representing the school. Um, what, you're, what you're doing, of course, is the most important work that can be done in the community because you're training those future health care workers um, and, and those folks who will make this community even better than it is today. So thank you for your work and our ability to participate with you, not just in Jump Jam, but in the other things we do, including the, the School of Health Science and Technology at the public schools. Uh, very exciting program, and, and I think there's more to come. I, I, I think this is a partnership that, that is, is frankly just starting to, to find its legs. Uh, Jump Jam supports our mission. The mission of Spectrum Health is to make uh, the communities we serve healthier, and it certainly does that. And in fact, we're going to have an expert talk to you about that and what that means. Um, we, you, you might recall that, that last year Spectrum Health was involved in another athletic uh, event. It was the Transplant Games of America. We brought some 3,000 people into the community from around the country and world, people who had received transplants people of families of those who had given transplants, and, and an incredibly moving event where, where these folks 
showed kind of their devotion to this new life they had, their second birth, if you will, in that sense. And, and I, I, this is a great follow-up to that event because by focusing on the kids of our community, we really are focusing on our future and on that second birth, if you will, and the second birth of the community that they will create and make for us as we go forward. Um, Spectrum Health is delighted to have the volunteers you mentioned join in. People are learning how to check so they don't, they don't mess up and they're going through the training and we've, we've had very uh, uh, great help from the skilled folks that do that. Um, we, we do believe, too, that adults should be examples of good, healthy living. And in that regard, at this point, I want to challenge Superintendent Neal. I, you can't hide behind the kids any longer uh, because I'm calling out you. Uh, we are challenging the, the Great Abbots Public Schools to a jump rope competition among some adults. And to that end, absolutely. And to that end, uh, I want to introduce the Spectrum Health team. Um, and, and the last person I'll introduce will be the person speaking to you next. But first of all, representing Spectrum Health Healthier Communities, uh, Mark Lubbers, who is supervisor of the Community Programs Core Health. See the team I'm bringing together here? Yeah. They're not, you know, they're not people that look like me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, representing Spectrum Health Medical Group Sports Medicine, uh, Philip Adler's here. I saw Phil. Yep. Phil. Okay. Uh, Connie Kitts is going kilts is going to join us uh, at the event as well. Representing Priority Health, Gene Cronin is here. Gene. She's the Associate Vice President of Product and Market Development. Great, thank you, team. You fired up? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to teach these teachers something? Yeah, that's yeah. Right. All, right, all, right, all right, see, we're fired up. We're ready. I hope you're ready. All right. This next Saturday, and it would be delightful if the public came out and joined us. Uh, next, I want to introduce our next speaker, uh, and also a member of our team representing Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Uh, Dr. Bill Stratbucker uh, is the medical director for Healthy Weight Center and works with kids that fight with obesity and families in that regard. And Bill's going to talk to us a little bit about the health benefits of jumping rope and other activity by children. So, Bill, delighted you're here. Thanks, Steve. Uh, happy to be on the team. I, uh, I, want, I want to say some, uh, some things about the importance of exercise, uh, not only for children, but for their parents and, and others. Uh, and I'm happy to, uh, to say that um, we have Steve as our coach. Uh, I haven't heard about the practice schedule yet. Uh, I know we've, we've been practicing on our own for, for quite a while. <laughs> When I, when I mentioned this to my own elementary school age daughter recently, uh, she immediately wanted to become my coach. Um, exercise is, is just an incredibly important part of daily living and weekly living. And as a, as a pediatrician, I know this from the patients that I see that, uh, that we counsel who, uh, who are not getting enough exercise in their daily lives and weekly lives, and many, many reasons for that. But events like this uh, really highlight the importance of, of getting exercise and in particular different aspects and, and, and activities that kids can participate in. Any activity or part of exercise that can be fun is going to be sold better to kids. And uh, in Michigan, we have a particular issue with getting activity, and that's the weather, like today. Uh, so oftentimes, kids need to find ways to be active uh, in places uh, where uh, it's not really cold or, uh, or rainy. And, and jump rope is a great option for that. Uh, jump ropes are fairly inexpensive, and as I found out recently, you can do uh, invisible jump rope. You can actually do jump rope without a jump rope. Uh, but I'm a, and I would like to do that on our team, <laughs> except that I'm pretty sure there are going to be jump ropes involved. Uh, and I'm a little bit scared. I, as a pediatrician, I worry about safety first. So I'm pretty sure that uh, we're going to have bike helmets in case we fall. Uh, but, uh, you know, in, in part, of my, uh, part of my job is treating uh, children who uh, 
have obesity and have developed a problem with excessive weight gain and certainly activities like jumping rope and other activities that get the heart rate up and the breathing rate up are incredibly important for these kids and these families. And I think that these types of events are really important to get families together to rally around these types of activities. And I'm really happy to be a part of an organization that's partnering with the schools to be able to bring an event like this to our area. So thanks to everybody who's involved and good luck to the other team. Thank you, Dr. Stratbucker, and thank you, Mr. Hecott. One thing we don't shy away from is challenges at GRPS. <laughs> Ain't no mountain high enough, no valley low enough, no river wide enough that will stop us. So with no further ado, I want to introduce to you someone who is very uh, special and important to us, a visionary leader who always has students, parents, and community on her mind at all times and the things that will benefit them. And that is none other than our superintendent, Ms. Teresa Neal. This is really an exciting time. I want to first say that thank you to Steve and to Spectrum Health. Our partnership with Spectrum Health really goes back. It's probably one of the longest standing partners that we've had in the district. Um, I joined the board for the community uh, health program, healthier community, and that was about 10 years ago. And so I am uh, so pleased to be a part of this. But now, Steve, I'm going to take you up on that challenge. And few people talked about the weather. I am a true jump rope person. We jumped in the rain. Right, so we, we didn't shy away from, from the rain at all. Um, you know, exercise is extremely important, but I think more importantly was jump rope. We didn't see this as exercise. I threw up jump rope 25, 30 years and very good at it. So watch out, you guys. Um, but we didn't understand the benefits. We just did it because it was fun. And we did it all spring, all summer. You can interrupt. You want me to use a big mic, Kurt? This, if I use two, it'll make a noise. This is the actual video. Got it. Can you make it a little shorter? I'm not quite as tall as, as other folks. Got it. You know, um, we talked about the partnership that we have with Spectrum, and it's starting with um, not only the health science program. We have healthier communities. In 25 of our schools, Spectrum Health has provided us with nurse aides, that's huge. That is changing the lives of these children as well. So it's not just all fun, um, but, but this is a, a very fun time for us. We have about 600 students that are going to participate in this program. So I do encourage you, even though Kurt said we're not sending it out, we are sending it out to everyone. Come and watch Steve and I set this off. Right, so I do want you to show up on the 20th. Um, jumping rope is a great way, very inexpensive way for children to get exercise. And I don't want people to think it's limited to this particular program. We jumped rope, we use clotheslines. And you can cut it in half and you have two double dutch ropes. <laughs> there is an answer, right? And so I, I want parents to know it doesn't have to be some fancy rope. Right? You can just go to the grocery store and buy a clothesline. My grandson, who attends Coit, uh, he wanted me to practice in front of him. I wasn't willing to do that. <laughs> I wasn't that confident yet, Steve, but I'll be ready by the 20th. Um, I want to not only accept your challenge, but I want to introduce my team. We are a school system, and we have physical education teachers. So Spectrum, get ready. <laughs> the first is Deb Postumas. Phys Ed teacher at Kent Hills. Come on up, Deb. <laughs> Next, we have Amy Maven. Amy is a Phys Ed teacher at Southwest Community Campus. Michael Woodbeck, Phys Ed teacher here at campus and Coit. That's right. <laughs> 
Vincent Mayfield, the athletic director and phys ed teacher at Alger Middle. We also have a secret weapon. We have Ashley Emerson. She is a phys ed teacher who teaches at shared time at St. Thomas. We pulled out all our stops. <laughs> and, Palmer. and Palmer. So with that, Steve, you know, we'd like to win at all costs. I also heard that George Hartwell is one of the judges. He's on our team as well. <laughs> I want to take this time to thank not only our team, but the Spectrum team. But I want you to know we play to win. We're practicing. right? <laughs> we will see you on the 20th. Thanks to all of you for coming out. Girls, next time I'll be ready to jump. I will not wear my heels. I'll teach you how to do this. <laughs> but thanks to everyone for coming out to this event today. Thank you. <laughs> I'll turn it back on, Ms. Jones. Thank you. Thank you. Give all of yourselves a round of applause. So we're very, very excited about um, the activity and this event because, um, as uh, Mrs. Neal said, it's important to have students engage in activities and not even realize that they're benefiting themselves. And so we want to really encourage um, more spectators. We'll do that. You know, that was in my notes <laughs> to limit the participation. But hey, if you're in the area, if you're not in the area, come on down and join with us and have a lot of fun there. And so if we want to also at this time give you a little taste or an example of what you might see at the competition. So we'll have Mr. Woodbeck and one of his teams come forward and demonstrate, I think, a speed relay and maybe a little double dutch. Imagine about 600 kids all doing this. Oh, okay. All right. And and it happens in competition. Sorry. <laughs> So that's just a little example of one of the events. And kids will compete in a variety of events of up to eight different categories. So you'll see a multitude of different jump style there. So that we're looking forward to all of the kids participating and having a really great time. So invite your family and friends and the entire community out to see us. And we look forward to, to seeing all of you. Um, at this time, we're going to take, if, is there any questions that I can provide any answers to? OK. If not, well, thank you again once, uh, once and again for coming out and participating with us. And we'll see you Saturday, April 20th, downtown Grand Rapids, DeVos Hall, Exhibition Hall C. All right? Be there or be square. All right. <laughs>